Fueled by Deathcast. I love asking this question for for bands that tour the world like you guys. Um, is it a different response in different countries? Because I've heard di- mixed reactions from other musicians that I've talked to. Do you get like a a larger response, say in Japan, than you do in the UK? Is is there a place that like is way crazier than just playing in the states? South America is way crazier. Argentina, really? Argentina, and that's just from like past experience with other bands that I've played in. Uh, they will yell so loud that it is almost overpowering the PA sometimes. Uh, one of my old bands had a, a song with horns at the beginning. It was very, and we didn't bring horns on, uh, you know, uh, on that tour because it's expensive. And and um, they were yelling out the horn lines louder than the actual, like, it was, we were just like, leg, my mouth was so like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Oh, yeah, South America's yeah. definitely go nuts. They're, they're used to doing all those soccer chants. Yeah, You just start that and let them go, and then you can just, it's total pandering. Yeah. One of the things that, you know, I, I've noticed um, myself is watching, you know, countless live performances of my favorite acts, you know, in different countries and stuff like that, and talking to, to musicians like yourself that tour the world is that, it seems to be going to live music in other countries is an experience where we're kind of passe about it in the States now. Do you guys feel that way? Mm, well, I mean, you know, America is, is oversaturated with, with everything. It's you know, too people much are to do. All over the place. But that's not to say that people still love going to live shows. You know, every every one of our shows has been just... Even if they're pre-recorded just, tracks. Well, no, our shows aren't. Uh, not not us. No. Uh, not us. I'm just uh, saying. No, we don't use any, any triggering, any sampling, any tracks. Which any is another conversation. Or, yeah. So, um, you know, our show's completely live, and, and that, that's that's one thing that the, the band's always prided themselves on, you know, and, and, it's, and it's great. Um, but you know the the thing is it, the interaction between the fans and and the band at, at our shows. You know the energy is always you know up there. Everybody's always having a great time. You know it's not uh, you know you don't get a bunch of wallflowers that are just sitting there just kind of you know like zombies watching the show. So although which is great, not to interrupt, but I will <laughs> say some cities are just more excitable than other cities. It doesn't even have to do with countries, I don't think. Yeah. I think it just depends on that particular city because, uh, shit, where were we just at? We were just in uh, Illinois. Where was that at? A couple of months? Yeah, in the crowd. Champagne. Champagne. And and it's just it. it, it yeah, it makes it a little easier, too, when the crowd's like, they kind of lift you up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, but I would say city to city differs also just as much from country to country. Japan's kind of a trip. They're awesome when you're playing. They're loud. They're going. And then as soon as you stop playing, they just get quiet. And they listen, they're like, perfect. Well, a little yeah. disconcerting if, if you don't know to expect it. Yeah. That's that's so weird. It's so cool to hear, too, because, I mean, especially coming from you guys, because, I mean, like, talking with a band like Buck Cherry, you guys bring it every single night no matter what so it's impossible like you said to be a wallflower i mean you're not going to go to a buck cherry show and just sit there like that that isn't that's impossible yeah and it's also cool because i'm talking to the rhythm section here and you guys like keep that pocket like no other i i gotta commend you for it you know especially in your live performances it's it's just so so amazing to behold is there with this tour that you guys are on right now is there um, a moment in the set that's your favorite that you can't wait to get to every night or is it always different for me i mean that you know that well we do a different set every night yep you know there's there's the core songs that that you know have to be in the set every every night because if we don't play after eight records you know certain songs you have to play we'll we'll get lynched at, at you know at after the after the show, if, if we don't play certain songs, but um, but I mean, you know, the, the set changes every night, you know, but uh, it, it always has uh, the same type of flow. So it, I mean, it, it just it just rolls really naturally, um, you know, and it, and it, it's it's constructed to where it stays energetic. You know, and we have the the ballads in there. And, you got and, the ups and the ups and the downs <clears throat> and the back up again, yeah. and then a little bit backside mellow, yeah. and then tongue and cheeky towards the end and then you crazy yeah. bitch them and then yeah so there's there's no low point in the in the set you know. 